The battle to turn down China's latest Delta outbreak continues after another 65 local cases were reported overnight, the highest in three days. This came as more Asian countries relax border restrictions, while New Zealand's largest city is exiting isolation soon. Auckland is on track to end its lockdown in the coming weeks after more than three months of isolation. Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern praised residents of New Zealand's largest city for signing up for COVID jabs. Auckland has worked so hard to get their vaccination rates high. They deserve to be able to move as soon as they hit those targets, regardless of what's happening in the rest of the country. But just to be clear, event facilities like movie theatres and gyms will remain closed for now. Face coverings, record keeping and physical distancing, of course, are required. Over 90% of Auckland's residents have received at least one jab, while more than 80% were fully immunized. And for the first time in 20 months, the United States has reopened its border to double jabbed visitors from overseas. Non-U.S. citizens from over 30 countries and regions, such as China, Britain and the European Union, will be able to arrive quarantine-free. But visitors will need to get a negative COVID test result within three days of traveling and submit contact information to U.S. authorities. Over in Asia, business travelers arriving in Japan can serve three days of quarantine from today, down from 10 previously. Singapore is also welcoming vaccinated visitors from neighboring Malaysia after opening to nearly a dozen countries. But Asia's largest economy is sticking to its COVID-0 policy. China added 65 local cases from 20 provinces overnight, the highest uptick in three days. 20 of those infections were reported in the port city of Dalian in northeastern Liaoning province. The central province of Henan vowed to contain and kill its outbreak in a week, after tallying 18 cases. Authorities are determined to ring in the latest outbreak as severe snowstorms descend upon northern China.